Nigerians have been people who have been subjected to a lot of profiling around the world. And uh, whenever anybody is traveling, once they see that you're a green passport and you're a Nigerian, you are automatically a suspect. So what, even if we want to tell the world we are good people, what message are we sending to people if a known drug dealer is comfortably running to be the president of Nigeria? You know, this is beyond, this is beyond personal sentiments now. This is beyond, this is beyond tribal politics now. This is now about the image of the country, the image of the whole country as a whole. Visit my blog www.my2centstoday.com and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. The advantages of subscribing are 1. Having access to the exclusive summary of my next topic of discussion days before my content is available on all social media platforms. 2. Exclusive right to send emails about observations and contributions that you may have. Finally, the subscription is free. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my newsletter and let's get started. So it's no more news that the U.S. court has released a document of 52 page, 52 pages document showing the court proceedings and evidences that has been of public knowledge for the past years. Even a rumor, but it has not be it doesn't be confirmed by any reliable source. But uh, it has always been in the news that. Back in the 90s, Bola Metunubu was involved in drug trafficking and money laundering in U.S., Chicago to be precise. And um, when he was sent to court and he was tried in court, he was forced to forfeit about 460,000 U.S. dollars and uh, just for him to be released. So in July this year, uh, an investigative journalist David Ndei did a very detailed expose on Bola Metunubu and his drug proceedings in the United States, in the United States of uh, America. Many people came out and they discredited it as being false and as a false allegation. But just today, the U.S. court has come out and they've released the document to the public for everyone to see. So I'm not here to go deep into the case because it's... it's it has been in the media for a very long time. I'm not here to explain what's transpired, but what I'm just here to do is I'm here to, to explain and to break down what this could do, the damage this information being in the media could do to the image of Nigerians across the world. Just last month, the United Arab Emirates banned all Nigerians from entering their country. So basically, no Nigerian can get a visa of United Arab Emirates. And this is sending signal to other countries that Nigerians might not be the good set of people in which they should welcome into their country, which is not actually true because Nigerians, like me too, I'm a, I'm a Nigerian and I'm proud to be a Nigerian. We are good people all around the world. We are, we are law abiding, but always criminal elements even amongst the good people. So generalizing all Nigerians to be criminals would be unfair to Nigerians and to the good ones in the country. But then just after that one, when we are just, um, the whole country is trying to recover from the profiling by the um, United Arab Emirates on most Nigerians, then this news came into the media also of Bola Metsunubu being involved in 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 drug deals in in the nineties, so I I just I just sat and I was thinking, what damage would this do? So I'm here to break down the damage this would do to Nigerian image. So now, let's not forget this is the U.S. the United States of America coming out to say a presidential candidate of the most populous black nation is a drug pusher, is a drug dealer, is a money launderer. And you know, US, whether we like it or not, whether we like US or not, US is a world power and US controls Europe in, 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 in general. 
So whatever US does, UK will follow, Canada will follow, Germany, France, all these big countries, they will follow and they will follow suit. So now this, the, the, the signal this is sending to us as a country is that if someone who has a very questionable character like Bola Metsunubu is contesting to be the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria, it's just like this popular Pablo Escobar contesting to be the president of Colombia. You know this, 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 this kind of this kind of news breaking into breaking into the into the media will do more damage to the image of Nigerians across the world. You know, many Nigerians ran away from the country during this very administration because it has always been not so good. It has been the, it has been the worst administration ever anybody has ever imagined in the whole of the country. So now leaving the country, running away from these corrupt politicians, just to be outside the country, and the corruption cases of these same politicians back home are still hunting you down outside Nigeria. It is not fair, it is, it is sad, and this is the toughest time to be a Nigerian anywhere in the world. So now, basically, we've we've had we've had we've had series of profiling of Nigerians across the world. We had the one that happened in India, where um, students were playing uh, football, and because the Nigerian team won, the Indian guys they they brought out sticks and they started chasing Nigerians until some of the Nigerians ran to the Nigerian embassy in India. We, th there there are, there are a lot of cases we can't even count. Yeah, they are on the internet. Um, and when when we're in an internet age where when anything happens, we just throw it to the media and it stays. And and there's a popular saying that internet never forgets. Even in the next 20 years, it's just type it and the video will pop up. We are, we are in that internet age. So we we Nigerians have been people who have been subjected to a lot of profiling around the world, and uh, whenever I, Anybody struggling once they see that your green passport and you're a Nigerian, you are automatically a suspect. So what even if we want to tell the world we are good people, what message are we sending to people if a known drug dealer is comfortably running to be the president of Nigeria? You know, this is beyond. This is beyond personal sentiments now. This is beyond, this is beyond tribal politics now. This is now about the image of the country, the image of the whole country as a whole. We are about to put the lives of more than 200 million people in danger by handing over our country to a known drug dealer, and which it will, it will rather be a very sad event. It will be a very sad event because. We will continue. We will, we will now experience worse profiling across the world. Just take it or leave it. We 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 have the case of Osh Poppy, who who is still in the U.S. Pre, uh, in, still in the U.S. custody, facing charges of money laundering and Yahoo Yahoo and fraud in the U.S. We have the we have we have the case of a sitting senator. A sitting senator in Nigeria is now in UK, in the court in UK, answering for cases of human trafficking. How many, where, where do Nigerians, where, where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line and say enough is enough of these politicians spoiling our name, destroying everything that Nigerians outside the country and Nigerians back home are working so hard for. Nigerians are very beautiful people. They are very accommodating. They are very friendly. And, you know, I would advise you, even if you are not a Nigerian, and you see Nigerian anyway, do business with them because a handful of Nigerians are very nice and they are good people. So now the ball is in every Nigerian's court now to be the image maker 
of Nigerians all across the world. It's the boy design in our court to be the image maker. Wherever we are, let's tell people and let people know that Nigerians are good people. Whatever you see on the internet is just a fraction of a criminal-minded set of Nigerians. But the majority of Nigerians, we are good people. Thank you.